So you can never remove the operator from the picture, but you can remove the operator from unknown conditions. We saw the opportunity to bring in RC equipment on our project. Um, there were some unknown conditions that had to be explored. Um, we saw there was opportunity to improve overall safety of the site, to better evaluate um, what the site conditions are. Our customers actually came to us knowing that we had relationships with vendors with RC capabilities. Uh, we actually spent three or four days at where they test the new iron at saw remote control equipment. Uh, had a chance to run it, and as such, we were the first company to receive the prototypes to do field testing for remote controlled equipment in Ash Pond work. It's pretty exciting technology to be able to put it into the right applications and use it where it's needed in conditions like lightning that we normally wouldn't be able to work in. We can go drain an area that would be flooded that we couldn't be out doing that normally. When you sit in the cab normally, you have blind spots from your boom, your counterweight behind you, over your right hand side by your tracks. With this system, there's cameras located all around and you don't have a blind spot anymore. We're not automating. We still have one Traco has one operator, just like it has been ever since Tracos became a thing. It means a lot to me that SAIA puts so much into safety. If this machine gets severely damaged, at the end of the day, I still get to go home. And that's the most important thing for me. I've been in the heavy equipment industry for a long time, and ground conditions change constantly, no matter what site you're on. And when those conditions change, Things happen, machines will go down. Um, but with this technology, no operator in the seat, the machine goes down, uh, you go to the office, pick up the operator, and you ride out there together and evaluate the situation and extract your machine. And no chance for injuries that way. Nobody ever wants to make the call to the boss and say, hey guys, we, we're short one track hoe. It's somewhere in the bottom of the pond. Don't want to make that call. But I would rather make a hundred of those calls than to ever have to call a woman and say, your husband is gone.